Hello friends, a new week in our new reality and we're going to be okay because God is good. Even in the midst of chaos and brokenness, He is still so good. And He's inviting us to be better than okay. Like He's inviting us to accept His invitation to experience more of life that Jesus came to make possible for us. So this weekend in my teaching, I I told the story of Jesus' interaction with two sisters, Mary and Martha, and Luke's account. Well, let me just read for you the punchline out of Luke chapter 10. Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. You see, we, like Martha, allow secondary things to creep in in such a way that it adds anxiety to our lives. And often they're good things. Uh, Martha was doing a good thing. She was serving Jesus. She was serving others so they could learn from Jesus. But in the midst of that secondary thing, she was missing the main thing. Her having the opportunity to sit and learn and worship Jesus. So two questions for you today. What is one thing that you have allowed to creep into your life or one good thing that you've been doing that you chose, have chosen for your life, but now it's, it's crowding out the best thing, it's making you anxious. You can limit it or eliminate it. What's something that needs to change, move out of your life so you can better focus on God's best for you? And number two, what's, what's a new practice, a new discipline, a new routine that you need to initiate to better help you discover God's best for you? For my family, we have chosen to focus on better taking a day off. Now, in my family of origin, my mom and dad did a great job of making sure Sunday was Sunday. Sunday was for church. Sunday was for family. We did not work. But for me... Uh, as a pastor, like it's my most important work day, regularly. And then on top of that, I allowed all the things I wanted to get done, all the good things to crowd out rest on the other days. So for us, we're working on a new pattern of a day of rest to better position us for the main thing, for the best of what God has for us. And I know it'll have to be tweaked. I know we'll get a couple weeks into it and then I'll be tired of trying and we'll have to make adjustments again, but it's going to be worth it because it's going to better position us to experience God's best for our family. So what is that for you? What's that new thing you need to do? Or what is that thing that needs to come off of your plate, out of your schedule because it's distracting to you right now? We're going to be okay. God's inviting us to be better than okay. Trust Him with what you cannot control take control of the things you can so we can better follow Jesus. Let me pray for you today. God, thank you for my friends. Thank you that um, they want your best for them. Thank you, O oh God, for providing that for us through Jesus, his life, his death, his resurrection. Thank you, O oh God, for bringing us to life and showing us what life is all about. Help us see the things that need to come off. Help us see the things we need to come in alignment with so we can better experience your best for us today. God bless my friends as they seek you and seek to be a blessing to you. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. By ensuring that what you do today is positioning you to experience God's best for you, that will make it a great day. Enjoy it.